Reedsville is a brand new master plan community, one of the best master plan communities coming to Williamson County. It's getting underway right now. They're about to open up sales. So that's what we're going to talk about today. This neighborhood is going to be located in Williamson County in College Grove, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. So what we're going to talk about today is going to be the amenities. We're going to talk about all of the fantastic amenities that they're going to have in this neighborhood, and there will be quite a few. We're going to talk about the homes, what they're offering, what those prices will look like, lot premiums, and all those things. We're going to show you in another neighborhood what their homes look like since this one's not being built yet. You're absolutely going to love it. They have tons of curb appeal. So we're going to drive through and show you some of their homes in another neighborhood. And then we're going to talk about the location and the schools as well. So we're going to cover a lot in this video today. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Jennifer Gramling. I'm a real estate agent here in the Nashville, Williamson County and surrounding areas. I just put out content trying to get you more familiar with the area. If you're thinking about moving here or relocating, this is going to be a great channel for you. So be sure to subscribe. And like I said, I am an agent in the area. So if you have questions at all about moving here or relocating, be sure to reach out. You can find all my contact information in the comments and feel free to text, call, email, however you want to get in touch with me. I'd be glad to answer any and all of your relocating questions. I have tons of people reaching out just like you who are relocating to the area. And I absolutely love helping people find that perfect place for them. So be sure to reach out. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump right in and talk about this neighborhood. It's going to be fantastic. So the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be the amenities. So like I said, this neighborhood is not being built yet, but we can drive through. I can show you some of the amenities in the other neighborhoods. So another neighborhood that they recently built in College Grove is called McDaniel Estates and McDaniel Farms. So as you can see from these photos, they do have pools, walking trails. They have so many amenities in this neighborhood. It's absolutely amazing. So this is another great neighborhood to consider if you're wanting to move to this area, but you're not wanting to wait for a new build. This actually could be a great option for you too, if you're looking for a fantastic planned community. So in this community, Community. They have a pool, they have a clubhouse, they have a walking trail, they have a workout facility, an event lawn, community garden, playground, all kinds of things. So they really did this neighborhood right and Reedsville will be very similar. So let's take a look at their packet that they put out. And if you're interested, I can certainly send this information over to you. There's actually a link with a lot of different information in it. If you're interested in this neighborhood, so just reach out to me, you can send a call or text, whatever you need, um, and we will get this over to you. But let's take a look. So you can see this is kind of how they envision their clubhouse and their pool looking. Again, just more of the pool with a tanning ledge. This is going to be a great place to hang out, to meet people and to cool off in those hot Tennessee summers, but it's great to have that community pool. You've got the clubhouse. Like we said before, it's a great place to hang out, host parties. I'm sure in a lot of these neighborhoods, you have really active HOAs that will have wine and bourbon nights and you can have birthday parties there and just neighborhood get togethers. So a lot of things happen at these community clubhouses. So it's a really great thing to have in the neighborhood. And you'll have that open air event lawn, which is great for things like like Easter egg hunts and movie nights out on the lawn. So I'm sure a lot of fun things will happen on this event lawn. You've got a workout facility. A lot of neighborhoods do not have workout facilities in their clubhouses. Signature Homes frequently does these and I know it's appreciated by a lot of the residents. So having that workout facility right here at the clubhouse is fantastic. And then of course you'll have playgrounds. There'll be a river walk trail. If your kids wanna go down and play in the river or just go for a walk with your pets, this is a great place to do that too. So you've got a lot of outdoor amenities here and it really is so picturesque and pretty down in this area. So we'll show you a little bit of that. Okay, now let me drive you through another neighborhood that they built. Like I said, this one's called McDaniel Estates and McDaniel Farms. And this will just give you an idea of what their homes look like when they're built. Their homes do have a lot of curb appeal. They're really, really beautiful homes. And of course you can customize customize these however you want, but this will just give you a really great idea. And so we'll take a look at the pricing together in just a minute, but just to give you an idea as we're driving through here, the homes in here are going to range in size from about 3,200 square feet all the way up to 4,200 square feet. And pricing will start anywhere from just under a million dollars up to about 1.2. And that is for the basement homes. Now their website is very helpful. So this page for this neighborhood isn't completely up yet, but once it is, you will be able to go on, see all the different floor plans that are available in this neighborhood. You'll be able to select those and then you'll be able to play with all of the different features. You can add rooms, take away rooms, add a third car carriage garage, see what that will do to your pricing. You can also choose exterior colors and 
and aesthetics. So it allows you to do a lot of things more than a lot of other builder websites will allow you to do. So once that piece of it is up and running, that will be a great tool if you're wanting to go price out your home. You'll also have all of the lot premiums as well. So that will also help you with your pricing. It will just be then getting in the design studio. And once you've chosen colors and tiles and things like that, then your pricing may change some, but this will give you a good idea of the base price of your home along with those structural options that you may want just to give you that really clear picture of that pricing. Okay, so right here on this link tree, you have a plethora of information and things that you can play with. So let's go take a look at this really quick. So you've got your home site and your home site premium. So this is really important. If you wanna look at the layout of these lots that have been released, this will also give you your lot premium pricing on it. So if you're not familiar with lot premiums, some of the better lots or whatever are deemed are the better lots are going to have the bigger lot premiums. Ones that are larger, that back to open space tend to have a higher lot premium on them. So they have those listed right here on on their lot map. So you can see some of these over here that back to this open space are as high as 65,000. And if you come over here to some of these interior lots, you're at zero. So 10,000, if you're backing up to another home, you do have a strip of green in between, but you're not gonna have as much privacy as you're gonna have on these lots over here. But I love that they went ahead and put those on here and then you can see which lots are coming available. And again, you can see that lot premium. This will also tell you if these are gonna be a slab or a basement home site. So a lot of these are going to be basements. You're gonna have a lot of basements in this neighborhood, surprisingly. So it looks like all of these are gonna be basements. You've got a few over here and a few down here. So if you're looking for a home with a basement, there's plenty in this neighborhood to choose from right now. So, and then if we click over here, what you're gonna find, this is gonna tell you if it's a basement lot and it's gonna tell you how large it is. So a lot of these lots are just right around a half an acre, give or take. So you've got some that are 0.45, you've got 0.66, and then again, more over here as large as 0 0.65, 0 0.64. So really nice size lots in this neighborhood. A lot of people call me wanting those larger lots and you will find those in this neighborhood along with those basement sites. So a lot of pluses to these lots. And then this is gonna give you the pricing for the homes right here. So you've got your slab pricing, which starts at 980,000, goes up to 1.12. And then you can flip through and see the different floor plans that they're offering in here. And as you can see, these homes are just beautiful. I'm gonna take you to another tool in just a second where you can play with the exteriors, the different colors and different options and really customize these without even having to be in the office. And then if we go over here to the basement home sites, it's gonna be the same thing. So they give you the pricing on here as well. So 1.135 up to 1.2 starting prices for these basement homes. And then again, you can flip through all of the different home types. But the really great thing is that you can play with these. Okay, so you've got your interactive floor plans right here, which is really nice, and your exterior home visualizer, and they help you plan out your map here as well. So if you've chosen a floor plan that you like and you want to preview it, you want to play with your different exteriors and possibilities, you can go in here and personalize these. So I'm just gonna pick this Amelia and you can change your front door color and you can choose your palette and you have so many different options and ways that you can change this. So let's say I want a dark house. So we're gonna click on this palette and I'm gonna go dark. And then you can go and choose your main paint color. So we can do this color or apparently white within this palette. We're gonna stick with the dark, but this is so fun. This is the best part of building a new house is being able to go and do this. So you can choose your accent paint color you can change your garage door color. You can change your windows. We're gonna want those to be black. There we go. Can't make any changes to your shingles. You can change your stone out here. So there's a lot that you can change in here if you wanna play with your exterior. You can also go in and look at the interactive floor plans. So we'll take a look at this. Okay, so again, actually we'll pick the Breckenridge. And here you can go in and get pricing for a lot of these options that you might want. So if you want to add a finished basement, you can add that in here and it shows you, now you can see your square footage has gone up to almost 4,900 square feet and that will add almost $54,000 for that finished basement. You can add a kitchenette in the basement, which is $2,000, which is not bad for adding a kitchenette. You can add a laundry down there, $3,500. So you can add on all of these things. You can also change things within your floor plan. You can also add other things in here like vaulted ceilings at the primary and a deluxe laundry, laundry cabinets. So you can go in and play with all of the different additions or structural things that you might wanna put on your house and get a really idea of pricing out that house, where it's gonna be and what it's gonna look like. Some of us have trouble visualizing things without seeing it. This is why these tools for me are so fantastic because I love to be able to see what I'm designing. Otherwise, it's still kind of ambiguous to me. So if you're a visual person like I am and you need to see it, then this website, you will love it. Okay, and so let me just jump over 
over and show you a little bit of the area where this is. So let's just jump to this video and let you see a little bit of this. So this is really beautiful out here. So one of the great things about being out here in College Grove is that you're a little bit removed from everything. It's not congested out here. It's very quiet, but you still have all of these great neighbors and you're still close enough to everything that you don't have to drive 30 minutes to go get your groceries or to go run whatever errands you need to run. But you still a little bit feel like you're out in the country, which is really, really nice. And it feels really private out here. But this kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like out this way. Like I said, they're not building yet, so it's hard to visualize without it being here. But let's jump over to this map. Let's take a look where it is on the map and let's talk about this location a little bit. Okay, so Reedsvale is going to be located right here and it's going to be right on the Harpeth River, which is very cool. That's where you're going to get that river walk that they're going to put in for walking trails. And again, remember it's right here. So one thing that you're going to notice is that right here are going to be Page Middle and Page High School. And you're going to be right here. So you're going to be very close to your middle and high school. These, by the way, are Franklin. So that just tells you the Franklin line is really just right here. So you're almost in Franklin, your College Grove. It's all Williamson County. So you're zoned for these Page Middle and Page High. I'm not positive on the elementary school yet. They're building a new elementary school right over here off Cox Road. I would assume that you are going to be zoned for that. I have not confirmed that. But once I do, I'll put that in the comments. So come back and look for that if you're interested in that or reach out to me. But not 100% positive on this, but I can't imagine that you wouldn't be zoned for this new Arrington School, which is going to be opening this coming school year, which is great, great timing. So if you were hoping to go to that new Arrington School, which is an elementary school that's going to be opening up, that's going to be right there. And then they are also saving enough land there to build a middle school there as well for expansion. So it's going to take some of the relief off of these page schools, which are definitely growing. So it'll take some of the relief off of those elementary and middle schools as well. Okay, but again, located right here is kind of where you're gonna be. So I'm gonna zoom out and you'll see that right here is where we were. Arrington is right here. Franklin is right here. Okay, and so to get over here into Franklin, which is probably where you're gonna wanna do a lot of your shopping, right now it's gonna take you 14 minutes to get from this neighborhood over here into Franklin where you would most likely do your grocery shopping or run your errands, whatever that is. And as you can see, we've got a little jam here. So it probably is really only about 10 minutes, but you've got a little traffic there today. But about 10 to 15 minutes, to get into downtown Franklin. It's also gonna be about 15 minutes to get up into Nolansville if you wanted to go up into Nolansville. And then right up here is where you've got Cool Springs, which you've got your Whole Foods, as you can see. You've got Trader Joe's in here. You've got the mall. You've got Costco, Target. All of that is gonna be right here. So really accessible to this. So I think sometimes people get the idea that they're going to be out in College Grove and they're going to be so far away from everything, but really you're only going to be about 15, 20 minutes to get to all of these things. And then of course you've got historic downtown Franklin right here as well, which is going to be about 20 minutes for you also. So really easily accessible to all of these things. And then to get into downtown Nashville, it's going to be about 35 minutes or so to get up into this area. And that of course is with no traffic. So keep that in mind. If you're driving during those peak rush hour times, it's probably going to take a little longer. Okay. But this should give you a great idea of what Reedsville is all about. It's a neighborhood to watch if you're interested in building and you're wanting to get started on that process probably later this summer. They're going to start selling these lots hopefully in May. So once you get that contract signed and get your design appointment out of the way, you're probably going to be earlier next year getting that house complete, but you could be in by that next school year if that's something that you're wanting to do or just wanting to move maybe in the springtime. This might be a great option, but this neighborhood is going to be really beautiful. A lot of great amenities. There's a lot of things to be excited about with this, the larger lots and those signature homes. I think I mentioned that earlier in the video, but they do sell out really quickly. People love their neighborhoods. So I do expect that this neighborhood will sell out pretty quickly. But if this looks like something that you might be interested in it, at least just get the information and have that so that you'll be ready to make a move on it if that time comes and you're ready to make a move on it. So again, like I said, if you have questions about this neighborhood or any other other neighborhood that might work best for you, feel free to reach out to me. You can call, text, email, however you want to get in touch with me. I would be happy to help. And I have a lot more tours coming up. We have neighborhood tours, city tours, home tours, all the tours. But again, just reach out to me with any and all questions. Thanks so much. And I'll see you on the next video.